A dropout fuse served as a key component in ensuring the reliable operation of medium voltage distribution lines. These protective devices are designed to safeguard the system against overcurrent events, which can cause risks to both equipment and personnel. Understanding the necessity of dropout fuse cutouts in medium voltage distribution lines requires an exploration of their functions, components, and benefits. Additionally, this video explores the advantages of these devices over alternative protection methods, their role in maintaining system reliability, and their importance. What is the definition of dropout fuse? A dropout fuse is an electrical component that is used as a fault protection device in most urban and rural distribution systems. It is also used in medium voltage industrial applications for primary backups and secondary backups. The dropout fuse operates in the event of an extremely high voltage supplied to the transformers. Before the high voltage could cause any harm to the transformer, it broke the circuit. A dropout fuse is also used as a switching device when the circuit is under repair or maintenance. Now, let's talk about history context. Dropout fuses have been used for decades in electrical systems, evolving to meet the changing needs of medium voltage distribution networks for reliable and efficient protection. Today, dropout fuses are an essential component of modern electrical grids, providing crucial protection against overloads and short circuits. With advancements in technology, these fuses have become even more reliable and advanced, able to quickly and accurately detect any abnormalities in the system. As the demand for electricity continues to grow, dropout fuses will remain a key tool in ensuring the safety and efficiency of medium voltage industrial applications. What are functions of the dropout fuse in medium voltage distribution lines? The function of the dropout fuse in medium voltage distribution lines is to provide a safety mechanism that disconnects the circuit in case of a fault. When a fault occurs, such as an overload or short circuit, the dropout fuse quickly detects the abnormality and opens the circuit to prevent damage to the equipment and ensure the safety of personnel. By interrupting the flow of electricity, the dropout fuse helps to isolate the faulted section of the system and allows for easy identification and repair. The following points detail the functions of the dropout fuse. First, overcurrent protection. Dropout fuses are designed to protect the distribution system from overcurrent conditions that can occur due to faults, short circuits, or overloads. When the current in the system exceeds the rated capacity of the fuse, it will melt or blow, interrupting the circuit and preventing damage to the equipment and system. Second, isolation. In addition to providing protection from overcurrent conditions, dropout fuses also serve as a means of isolating the faulty section of the line. By blowing the fuse, the faulted section can be isolated quickly, allowing the rest of the system to continue operating without interruption. Third, safety. Dropout fuses enhance the safety of the distribution system by reducing the risk of electrical fires and other hazards that can result from overcurrent conditions. By interrupting the flow of current when necessary, dropout fuses help prevent damage to equipment and mitigate the risk of injuries to personnel. Last one, maintenance. Dropout fuses can also facilitate maintenance and repair activities on the distribution system. By isolating specific sections of the line using dropout fuses, maintenance personnel can work on the system safely without the risk of exposure to live electrical currents. How do dropout fuses contribute to system reliability and protect against faults and overloads in the distribution system? These fuses are designed to quickly interrupt the flow of current in the event of a fault or overload preventing damage to equipment and minimizing downtime. In addition to protecting against short circuits, dropout fuses also help to prevent thermal overloads by disconnecting the circuit when the current exceeds a certain threshold. This proactive approach to protection not only ensures the sustainability of the distribution system, but also helps to ensure a safe working environment for maintenance staff. Let's talk about construction of dropout fuses. Dropout fuses are typically composed of three main components, the fuse element, the fuse tube, and the fuse carrier. The fuse element is a thin strip of metal alloy, chosen for its specific melting characteristics at various current levels. It is enclosed within the fuse tube, which is often made of insulating materials like porcelain or glass fiber-reinforced plastic, to protect it from environmental factors and ensure proper insulation. The fuse carrier is the external housing that holds the fuse tube in place, allowing for easy installation and removal. The carrier is often designed with a dropout mechanism, 
which causes the fuse to automatically disengage from the circuit once the fuse element has melted. This dropout feature is particularly useful in high voltage applications as it provides a visual indication of a blown fuse and allows for easy maintenance and replacement. How many types of dropout fuses? There are several types of blowout fuses that are particularly popular. The construction and applications of these types are quite different. One, BA type fuses are typically used in medium voltage distribution systems and are designed for outdoor use. They are characterized by their compact size and ability to handle high fault currents. Two, DBA type fuses, on the other hand, are specifically designed for use in underground distribution systems. They are built to withstand the harsh conditions found underground and provide reliable protection for electrical equipment in these environments. With their specialized construction and high fault current capabilities, DBA type fuses are an essential component in ensuring the safety and reliability of underground electrical systems. Three, DBU type fuses, on the other hand, are designed for use in overhead distribution systems. They are able to withstand the elements and provide dependable protection for electrical equipment in above-ground installations. With their unique design and ability to handle high fault current levels, four, RBA and RBD type fuses. RBA and RBD type fuses are commonly used in underground distribution systems. These fuses are specifically designed to protect underground cables and equipment from overloads and short circuits. With their durable construction and reliable performance, RBA and RBD type fuses are essential in ensuring the safety and reliability of underground electrical systems. How does a dropout fuse operate? Dropout fuses operate by automatically disconnecting the electrical circuit during overcurrent events, isolating the affected section, and preventing further damage to the system. When the current exceeds a predetermined level, the fusible element inside the fuse melts, causing the contacts to separate and interrupt the flow of electricity. This quick response time helps to protect equipment and prevent potential hazards such as fires or electrocution. Dropout fuses are commonly used in overhead distribution systems where they provide a cost-effective and efficient way to safeguard against electrical faults. Additionally, these fuses can be easily reset after a fault has occurred, minimizing downtime and ensuring continuous power supply to customers. For example, in a power distribution system, if there is a sudden surge in current due to a lightning strike or equipment malfunction, the dropout fuse will quickly disconnect and isolate the affected section, preventing damage to other parts of the system. Once the issue is resolved, the fuse can be easily reset by simply reinserting the fuse element, allowing for a swift restoration of power without the need for extensive repairs or replacements. Benefits of using dropout fuses Utilizing dropout fuses helps prevent costly equipment repairs, reduce downtime, and enhance overall system resiliency by swiftly responding to overcurrent events and safeguarding the distribution network. In addition, Dropout fuses are cost-effective solutions for protecting electrical systems, as they are relatively inexpensive compared to other protective devices. They are also easy to install and maintain, making them a practical choice for many applications. Furthermore, dropout fuses offer reliable protection against short circuits and overloads, ensuring the safety of both equipment and personnel. Comparison with other overcurrent protection methods Dropout fuse cutouts offer fast and reliable overcurrent protection compared to other devices like circuit breakers or fuses. They can quickly disconnect the faulty section of the line, minimizing downtime and damage. While dropout fuses may offer fast protection, they are limited in their ability to be reset and reused compared to other devices like circuit breakers. Additionally, dropout fuses may not provide the same accurate or adjustable protection settings as other overcurrent protection methods. Cost effectiveness and efficiency. Dropout fuse cutouts are cost effective solutions for medium voltage distribution lines. Their simple design and efficient operation make them a popular choice for protection against overcurrent conditions, offering both reliability and affordability. To sum up, dropout fuse cutouts are electrical components used in medium voltage distribution systems to protect against overloads and short circuits. They disconnect the circuit during faults ensuring safety and preventing equipment damage. These fuses have been used for years and are crucial in modern electrical grids. They provide overcurrent protection, isolate faulty sections, enhance safety, and facilitate maintenance. 
Dropout fuses play a vital role in ensuring system reliability by quickly interrupting current flow and preventing thermal overloads. They consist of a fuse element, fuse tube, and fuse carrier. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth explorations of the technologies shaping our world. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below.